how's it going everybody i hope you're healthy and safe so in this video i will tell you how to take wickets using spinners in test matches so before i show you how to take wickets i need to give you some information so that you can know better like how you can take more wickets so first of all what you're gonna do the patience is the key here when you are using a spinner you might have to ball a lot of overs because there is nothing as a quick fix in this thing and you just cannot trick the batsman you have to keep the pressure on the batsman in order to take wickets so if you want to take wickets the well, first thing you need to do is to make the batsman play on the front foot you can do this by bowling a full length or a yorker length delivery just make sure you you are using an effort ball i had tried other balls as well but effort ball has worked best for me and only use the short or the good length deliveries as a surprise for instance using the fifth or the sixth delivery of the over another thing which we need to keep in mind is the field settings i will just show you now what field settings you need to have so the field settings which we need to have i'll just show you now so you can see here that's the field but i'll just put the filters in the right you can either take the picture of it or if you can remember it that's fine as well so this is the field set which i'm gonna use so you can see here we have the third slip but if you want to change it to second slip that's good as well if the batsman is edging on the second slip you can change the slip as well another interesting thing is the backward short leg always start with the backward short leg you can also move the the filter on the left or right depending on if the batsman is playing the sweep shot so we just need to keep these little things in mind you can also use it at a leg slip if the batsman is getting the the edges there so but in the start just use the backward short leg so after now so now you know what the field settings you need to have so now after the field is set what i'm going to do i will try to bowl a full length or yorker length depending on which ball the batsman plays on the front foot and always try to bowl away from the batman batsman that means as an off spinner try to bowl dusra and if you are a leg spinner just bowl the normal leg spin and same goes for the left-handed batsman if you are an off spinner just bowl the normal off spin and with a leg spinner bowl a googly if you are bowling to a left-handed batsman so i'm just trying to create some pressure here you can see i'm again bowling the same length as I told you before, again I'm bowling full length with an effort ball. And he tries to play, I have a filter there and that's the wicket. Oh, what a nice catch. So that's the first wicket by Ashwin. You can see here I use the same technique, I told the same thing which I told before. You can see the replay here. The batsman tried to play on the front foot. You see that? He tries to play on the front foot. Yeah, so the can will go. So just to let you know the background of this match, I'm playing against New Zealand in England. So I will try to do the same thing again to Ross Taylor. Again, I will try to ball a Yorker length or the full length. The short leg isn't really important fielder. He, he needs to be there all the time, regardless if you're bowling fast or you're bowling slow. Yeah, so we have a left-hander here, and now I will try to bowl. The normal off off break because it goes away from the left-handed batsman and you'll see here i'm again trying to create pressure with right off the middle you see that it goes for four if the batsman plays the sweep shot it goes for four do not change your field but if he plays similar kind of shots again and again then put the filter you can see here, i'll just give you like which filter you need to move you can see there that's the filter which you need i'm not moving this one I'll just move it a bit but that's the filter which you can move if the batsman consistently playing in a similar area similar shot so we will just keep the pressure on so i just created a random team with which consists of all the spinners so i will only have spinners for this video So again bowling off spin full length delivery 
just make sure the batsman doesn't take singles if the batsman takes singles then there is no pressure on the batsman and he would uh, he would play more freely we need to create that pressure in order for the batsman to make a mistake and we need to capitalize on that so i'm going to ball the same delivery again you can see there i'm not giving much of the room and you can see it's you need to have patience as you can see it's already fought almost 14 overs and i have only taken two wickets the first wicket i just forgot to record it so but that was also taken by a spinner so ashwin to taylor i'll try to do the same thing again and placed and that's another wicket so short leg takes the second catch of the match so you can see here how important the short leg here he again tries to play and because we had the filters in the right spot the catch was taken easily so the new batsman Ashwin again I'm gonna do the same thing full length off spin and make sure you use an effort ball don't use the flight you can even take because the flight delivery but the effort ball has worked better you can see here your batsman is finding it difficult to play the shots and there's one in the gap that's fine no worries about that good shot You can see here the fielders there aren't any easy runs for the batsman it's it's not easy to take wickets with spinners in test matches that's why you need to mix up with the fast bowlers but i'm just showing you a technique that you can use and if i'm taking uh, if you use the same method it doesn't mean that you take the wickets the same way as i did for example you can bowl the batsman or you can adjust to like second slip so yeah but this is a technique which has worked and you you should try to do that again you can see here batsman playing on the front foot we that's what we are aiming at just make him play on the front foot don't make him play on the back foot yeah that's a nice ball in there just creating just creating the pressure see i'm appealing i don't know if that works but i feel like if you appeal more there's a higher chances of getting wickets because it, it might just create a psychological pressure on the batsman oh we have another one can we take them yes is that the wicked yes it is so i think that's the third wicket by ashwin you can see it's again the same thing effort ball at the full length delivery and sometimes depending on the pitch if your pitch is like you know, if your pitch is hard the batsman will play on the back foot even at a fuller length so there you need to ball a yorker length delivery just make sure the batsman doesn't play on the back foot another thing is that if you are the best pitch which you can use for bowling spin is the you have the, the medium or the soft pitch the hard pitch you it's not easy to take wickets if the pitch is hard so medium and soft pitches work best if you want to take wickets with spinners you can still take wickets if the pitch is hard but it's not that easy plays again on the front foot a similar kind of dismissal and there's another one so you can see the pattern here now what pattern we are following now we have the leg spinner Rashid Khan bowling so with the leg spinner you need to bowl googly because the ball needs to go away from the batsman and is that the LBR and yes it does so Rashid Khan also takes the wicket you can also use top spin but it, it's up to you like if you are taking more wickets with top spin that's good otherwise just ball the delivery which goes away from the batsman so you can see here we have already taken six wickets we need four more just try to bowl dusra again 
good bowling there. I made. I'll just try it with the right handed batsman, just ball the normal leg spin. So now with the I will again ball the leg spin again with the full length delivery right and place the so shot. You can see here the field settings which we have, the batsman, the shots which he is playing, they are going straight to the fielder. Or even if and that's I think that yeah that's another wicket. So that's wicket number seven. I think that's second wicket for Rashid Khan. So that's why, especially playing test ma test matches, you need to make sure your fielders are in the right spot. Otherwise, the batsman just gonna take singles and doubles. If even if you are not getting hit for boundaries, so creating pressure is the one of the most important thing in order for you to take wickets. Because even if you're bowling to bowlers, it's not easy to get them out. You see there, if I had like a fourth slip there, that would have been out, but. They were just one edge, so there's no need to change your slip filter. So I will try to take another wicket, full length leg spin, effort ball. You just make sure that you you'd also need to have some variations. For example, as I told before, try to ball the fifth or the sixth delivery on a good length or a short ball i prefer good length you know because the best batsman must be thinking the ball is going to be full or i think that's another wicket like a full length or yorker length but we deceive the batsman by balling at the good length area so that's another wicket i hope you are following what i'm trying to do i'm doing the same stuff again and again so we have eight wickets now and you also need to make sure it's not it also takes some time if you see the number of overs it's already 28 overs so it's not so it takes some time so you have to be pretty patient and consistent when you are bowling spin and you also need to make sure like if you are playing at an international level the spinner which you are going to use it must be a good spinner Mm. yeah that's the ninth wicket if your spinner doesn't have much attributes if he doesn't is if he is not skilled enough it becomes really really difficult to take wickets it's easier for fast bowlers but for spinners you need to think about a lot of things so just make sure you know everything every uh, thing which I'm telling you here in this video you can see here I have already bowled 35 overs and still there is one more wicket which we need to take it's balling here no runs here so that's rashid khan's last ball of the over and place and that's the wicket you can see here i ball a good length delivery i didn't ball the full length or the yorker length in this time because the batsman was thinking i'm gonna ball the full or yorker so you just need to play some tricks with the batsman and so that's how you take wickets using spinners in cricket 19. i really hope you like this video if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments because i know there are a lot of things which um, need you need to understand but just let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i will be more than happy to help in the end please like and subscribe the channel to see more videos and thanks for watching this video and there's the scorecard you can see we have we have only used spinners in this video once again thanks for watching this video guys until then see you next time